So this is the second step of problem solving. Again, we will try to kind of follow the template, although the type of problem we're doing is, is more straightforward. We don't need all of these directly, but we still have uh, some of the same steps. So what type of a problem is it and how many ways to solve this type? Let's see if we can identify those. So what type of a problem, what type of a problem is it? Um, so it says derivation of heat conduction equation. It's not like we have never done this before. So we have the derivation in Cartesian coordinate and we have done the, the derivation of heat conduction equation in cylindrical coordinate. So then it makes sense that if we are trying to uh, have the equation in spherical coordinate, it's probably going to be uh, looking something like the other two. If I could write, um, so this is the spherical uh, coordinate. Spherical coordinate. Uh, it's probably going to be similar to these two because uh, this that's exactly what we have done um, in these two coordinate system. So in this case, we see that the problem we're trying to solve is by analogy. By analogy, we um, we are going to repeat the same procedure that we did for these two cases. Okay, so as we already said that we are going to do this by analogy, uh, the, the spherical uh, coordinate system. And so what did we do for, uh, for derivation of heat conduction equation in the other two coordinate system? So we formed a finite control volume, performed energy balance, used Fourier's law, and then take limit. So we'll try to do exactly the same step. It should probably work because it sounds like we have done two other coordinate systems. So continuing on the solution process using analogy, um, analogy with Cartesian coordinate, analogy with cylindrical coordinate, we should be able to do it. So let's uh, just review what we did for Cartesian. We took a cube, a small cube, and well, on that cube we did energy balance and then we used Fourier's law and then took limit to get to the final equation. Uh, just like that for a cylindrical uh, geometry we took a cylindrical shell and then uh, uh, in that control volume we did energy balance and then we use Fourier's law in the radial direction and, and then the equation we got, uh, we took limits of that. The uh, spherical system, we are guessing that it will probably work the same way. We need to get a spherical shell uh, which may look something like this. And, and then do this in minus out plus gen and then the Fourier's law appropriately and then take limit. At this point, we think this might work. Uh, 